When placing dimensions, you may need to come back and modify or edit the dimension in one way or another to further embellish the design. It is possible to edit the dimension text of existing dimensions or to change its appearance by applying another dimension style. You can even modify the geometry of a dimension element by moving the dimension line or text or by adding, moving, or removing extension lines. Continuing in the proposed restaurant DGN file, let's go ahead and navigate to where the columns E4 and E5 are located. In an earlier exercise, you dimensioned part of the exterior. We're now going to add new points to this existing dimension. We will also clean up the dimension text by relocating them to areas where they are more legible. So, along the ribbon, from the Annotate tab, in the Dimensioning Ribbon group, we're going to select the Insert Dimension tool. This is the right tool for the job. However, simply put, it is actually the Insert Vertex tool. It can be found in the Modify group of the Home tab as well. Our task here is to add to the north side exterior dimension string. For this, we'll issue a data point on the left extension line. Then, we'll snap to the building corner at column D3 and issue a data point. This dimension string still needs more cleanup. However, we will now place a stack dimension. After we create the stack dimension, we will then clean up the dimension string. Our next task here is to construct that stack dimension for the north side. For this, we'll make the dimension linear tool active. In the tool settings, we're going to make sure that we toggle off the setting, select multiple elements. Next, coming into the view, we're gonna make the building corner at column B1 be the start point of the dimension. And then we'll make the building corner at column C9 be the dimension endpoint. Then we'll move the cursor in an upward direction. We'll snap the dimension line to the north side of the building and press the O key. Then we'll move the cursor in an upward direction and key in a distance of 450. We'll data point to place the dimension, followed by a reset. Now that we finished creating that stack dimension on the north side of our building, we're now going to perform cleanup on some dimension text. For this, we'll navigate the view to where the restrooms are located. Here, you can see in tight spaces, the dimension text becomes harder to read. You can use the standard modify element tool to interact with existing dimensions in a variety of ways to make your dimensioning more presentable. So for this, we'll make the modify element tool active and we'll then identify the 127 millimeter dimension text at the entrance of the women's restroom. When we select this, we are able to relocate it. As we do this, a leader line will appear. This leader line is a dimension style setting. So for this, we're going to relocate this dimension text slightly down and to the right, placing it into an open space away from graphics. And we'll do the same for the other 127 millimeter dimension text so that it does not overlay any other dimensions or wall line work. And as such, we'll repeat this process now for relocating any dimensions as needed to improve the legibility of the floor plan. Earlier, we laid out dimensions, knowing that they would need further cleaning up. As we just saw, the Insert Dimension tool allows you to add to an existing dimension. Conversely, the Remove Dimension tool will remove unwanted extension lines from a dimension string. So now we're going to make the Remove Dimension tool active. Next, we'll issue a data point on the 127 millimeter extension line at column D5. Hence, removing only the 127 millimeter dimension while retaining the rest of the string. Take note, the Modify tool not only can be used to relocate dimension text, but you can also move extension lines. For example, when placing a dimension, you make an error and snap to the wrong location. Instead of deleting the dimension, 
you can identify the extension line that is an error and then snap to the correct location using the modify tool. In addition, you may also use the modify tool to relocate the dimension line. For example, the exterior dimension line may be too close to the building. You may simply click on the dimension line and adjust the offset distance. In this lesson, you learned how to add and remove extension lines with the Insert Remove Dimension tools and relocate dimension text with the Modify Element tool. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.